Hey guys, I'm Bjorn from Bjorn Video Productions, and today I'll be doing a green screen tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get started. Okay, so before we start, you're gonna of course need a green screen. Now behind me, my green screen, as you can see, it's not perfect. There's still even lines from the box in there, but it works fine as long as you have balanced lighting in your room. You can use either a lighting setup or just use the natural light, or combining both like I'm doing. Start off by importing your footage to Final Cut Pro. Okay guys, so after you've imported your footage to Final Cut Pro 10, it is now time to start editing. Currently, in my project line, you can actually see the first 25 seconds of this video. We're going to do something similar to this. In this particular clip, you can see part of the rough, raw footage that I imported from my events. As you can see, this clip is far from done. Now one of the first things we're going to do is actually crop out some of the stuff we don't need, such as his white ceiling and my feet. In this particular video, all I really need is my upper body and part of my knees. We're going to go ahead and select into this little menu, make sure your trim is selected, and from here, little corners will appear on the video, and this will allow you to simply drag around the footage and select exactly what you need. Okay, we're going to have something like this. Now it is time to flip the footage around. Go back into the same menu, this time click transform. Select the little blue bubble and turn it to exactly 90 degrees. From here you can see the footage is properly oriented and cropped to exactly what I specifically needed to. Now we're going to go ahead and let it render. Alright, so after your footage is done rendering, it is now time to get rid of the green screen. Go into your effects tab, search keyer, and select this particular layer. Overlay it over your footage and already you can see most of the green screen is removed. This particular example is not great because you can still see a slight green line around my body. If this were an actual video project, I would fine tune my lighting and green screen to the perfect setup. But this should give you a rough idea of what the green screen should look like and how you do it on Final Cut Pro 10. From here, you can actually make some more adjustments. Selecting this little tab right here can allow you to see exactly the original footage and it will also allow you to see exactly what the green screen has detected as non-green screen, basically the footage that has not been changed. In this case, that's really only me, nothing in the background. This is good. And of course, by selecting this, you can see the final product. You can also change green screen strength, change your color, rotation, and basically all the other options you would find with other effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully this gave you a basic idea of how to use chroma key or green screen on Final Cut Pro 10. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see another great example of where I used the green screen in one of my previous projects, be sure to click the video listed in the annotation right here. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.